there, Ari here. Today I'll be showing you how I do my grungy emo teen makeup for Max Caulfield from Life is Strange. Although Max's costume is relatively simple, her makeup look gives her an added sense of realism and depth. Let's start! Start out with a clean and prepped base. Don't forget lip balm. I already put in my blue lenses to change my eye color. All products will be listed in the description. Apply your favorite face primer. Today I'm applying a pore filling one on my T-zone and a correcting one on my cheeks. Let that sink in and now time for our base. Use a BB cream or light coverage foundation. Max's skin is pretty natural and bare. We want to even out our complexion but still let our skin and freckles shine through. Use concealer to cover dark circles and blemishes. Blend it in with your base. We want this to last all day and mattify our T-zone, so powder up lightly with a translucent powder. Brow time! Max's brows are actually quite defined with a slightly arched shape, so I'll be using a brow pomade with a brush in an auburn brown shade. Blend with the spoolie to get rid of any harsh lines. Set in place with a brown gel. This one adds fibers for a more natural look. Apply your favorite eye primer to help our shadows go on pigmented and last all day. I prefer one with coverage to get rid of any discoloration. It's time for shadow. Using a pinky matte brown shade and a fluffy crease brush, create a diffuse shadow into your crease up towards the brow bone. Keep it super soft and blended. With a flat shader brush, apply the same shade to the lower lash line. Blend pretty far down towards your under eye for that grunge look. Add a dark brown shade to define the outer V and pull up our eye shape for a more flattering look. Use a black eyeliner pencil to tightline the upper lash line. This will help define the eye as well as fill in any gaps between the lashes and eyeshadow we'll be applying. Then line your lash line with a relatively thick line. Don't worry if it's messy, we're smudging it out with an angled brush halfway up the lid. Feeling emo yet? Take a dark brown shadow on your fingers and pack the color onto your lid. Keep patting to blend with the liner. It should have a gradient effect with the darkest shade at the lash line working to lightest at the crease. You can smudge in more eyeliner for the desired darkness. Clean up with a bone white shadow and blend it all together with a fluffy brush. Max's lashes are very natural, so I'll just be using mascara today. Give your lashes a good curl so they'll stand out against the dark shadow. I like to use a lash primer to lengthen and thicken my lashes. Then I go in with a base coat of defining mascara. Let that dry, then go in with a second coat. I'm using a false lash effect mascara this time for length and more drama. Very lightly coat the bottom lashes. And that's the eye look finished. We're almost there. Define your cheekbones and jawline with a light bronzer or contour color for some definition. I also did the tip of my nose. Then with a very natural blush, lightly apply to the backs of your cheekbones just to add back some more youthful color. Take your favorite highlighter and apply to the tops of your cheekbones, cupid's bow, inner corner of the eye, tip of the nose, and right under the brow. Time for the final step before we can go ape. Max's freckles are one of my favorite parts of this cosplay. Using just the tip of a small angled brush, use matte brown shades and dot all over your cheeks and nose. Use a large kabuki brush to tap over your new freckles to make them more realistic. Max has full lips that look pretty bare or matte. You could add some balm and call it a day, but I'll be using a nude lip liner to fill out my lip shape. And for the finishing touch, use a setting spray to set everything in place and take away any excess powders. Now we're mosh pit ready. Remember to take lots of selfies and go ape. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Bye!